Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to tell you how to replace the sticker on your R2-D2 Kenner action figure. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Going to make a really quick video, okay? This is really quick. Uh, just going to do this as a tutorial, but first a commentary on these uh, repro this is a reproduction sticker okay and there's a couple schools of thought as to whether you want to use a repro sticker on something and uh i'll tell you i'll tell you my philosophy okay because i kind of have one foot in both camps on the one hand i recognize that uh, you want your characters and your vehicles uh, to be as vintage as possible and so if you take a look at this this is my rtd2 he's the one that's in my collection right now and you can see that his sticker looks horrible, <laughs> right? This sticker is, is, is horrible. Uh, the back's not too bad. I've seen worse. I have seen worse. And so, uh, this, but this is mine. So, you know, so he's got, he's got a, a, a soft spot in my heart. And so something like this, I would leave it untouched. Okay. That's just how I feel. And if, if this was the condition of the sticker that was on the, the ship, right? If you were, if you were looking at a ship or a, a play set, if this was the condition, I would leave it. I would leave it. Um, I bought at X-Wing one time and the X-Wing came without any stickers at all. So it was just the shell, just a shell. It didn't have guns, it didn't have a canopy, it didn't have any stickers. And that's how I bought it. And I wanted to, you know, rebuild it. So I bought new, uh, I bought a new canopy. I bought new, you know, laser guns. And then I bought brand new reproduction stickers and, uh, put it all together. And then when I sold it, I was just honest, right? I was just honest. I said, rebuilt. And then I said, but it has reproduction stickers. So I think if you want to put reproduction stickers on something, that's fine. But if you go to sell it, make sure you are honest and upfront and say that it has reproduction stickers. So for our video today, I actually have a second R2-D2. And this is how he came. He came to me in the mail like this. So there's no hope of me ever putting, you know, a real sticker back on him because obviously the sticker is not even there. So it's completely off. So because I want to put him in my cantina playset, I need a sticker so that he looks nice because I want to make a little diorama. So I'm going to show you really quickly how we can put a new sticker on him. So we'll, we'll move our other uh, vintage figures out of the way. And uh, this R2 will say goodbye to this R2. <laughs> uh, this little decal, I got it uh, for free actually as part of another set. So I bought some parts off of somebody, some other vintage figures, and they threw in an R2-D2 sticker for free. You might find that uh, occasionally. All you need is a screwdriver, okay? You need a Phillips head screwdriver because way down there, as you can see, there's a little Phil Phillips head screw. And that's really all that's holding R2 together. So you're just gonna hold his head, okay? You gotta hold his head so it doesn't turn. So I'm holding his dome, and then the little screw came out, and a bunch of dust came out. Oh my goodness. And there's his top of his head, okay? And then there's uh, a couple pieces. So this is uh, the little piece that enables his head to click and it might be a little stuck. So I'm just gonna bang it on the table to kind of push his legs, there it goes. So it looks like this. So if your R2-D2 head doesn't click, it's because this little piece is probably broken. So when you look to buy an R2-D2 off eBay, if it says his head clicks, that's what you're, um, that's what you're knowing. That's what you're looking for. I'm going to try to keep the legs in the same orientation as the barrel. Okay. Because this is how, uh, he originally came. So all I'm going to do is just clean up some of the edges right here with a used towel that I was cleaning my figures with. I don't want to make it too wet because I'm going to put a sticker down on it. And I'm still trying to keep his orientation. There's some sticker residue from his past sticker. Um, you, and you can use a lot of different things to clean the barrel of R2-D2. I've seen some people use lighter fluid. I've seen some people use uh, like nail polish remover, like acetone. That works really well too. Acetone works really well to get uh, like felt pen markers off your ships. So if you buy a ship and the kid drew all over it, drew all over it, use um, just a dab of acetone on a Q-tip or on a, on a, like a paper towel 
and that'll take those marker um, things right off. So that is my barrel and it's all dried. Making sure I'm putting it down in the same orientation. I'm just going to check out the feet and get a little bit of dirt off of his feet as well. He's pretty dirty. That's because we all played with our figures out in the in the dirt, right? We all said, oh, we got to pretend it's indoor. And we took our characters out of the dirt. All right. Um, with the sticker, there is a half circle where his arm goes, right? Right there. And so what I do is I line that up first. So this little crescent, right? I line that up with one of the arms. Now I've seen people try to put the stickers on without taking the legs off. I would not recommend that. You wanna, you wanna get it like this. And it's not gonna go down first try either. It, it, takes, it takes a little bit to get it totally straight. But this is just a, a beater figure. So I'm not too, oh my goodness, it's going down perfectly. It went down perfect. It went down perfect because I did it this way. This is why you're following what I'm doing. Okay, so there he is, all nice and clean. So then you put, see how fast this went? You put one of his legs back on and you kind of tuck the little arm underneath. Second leg goes down. Then the little clicker head. Brace. Now we're going to... And it really doesn't matter where you stick R2's head on because technically his head swivels all the way around. It should. My line. And I'm not going to thread the screw in um, really tight. If I can get it on the screwdriver, geez louise. Okay. There we go. So there he is. One perfect R2 with his new sticker and you can, you can do it too. So obviously, you know, if I were going to sell my figures, which I'm not, if you saw something look like this, you would have to say, man, that sticker looks really too good. It must've just come out of the box. So if it's, but if his head, you know, looks all dinged up, but the sticker looks perfect, then obviously they used a reproduction sticker, right? But I would say if your sticker still looks this good, I'd leave it. Yeah, the vintage look is still the best and you know, you want to you want to keep those vintage stickers as long as you can. All right. So, I hope that helped you and thanks for watching. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.